going on guys, Mr. Sounds Effects here, and today we're going to be talking about something that's been going on with uh, my council the past five days. Uh, so, I've had the council ten years, it's the, the, you know, it's the original white one, uh, you know, I, I haven't changed it, it's got the 60 gig, you know, it's, it works completely fine, so I have no reason to change it. Um, so, Five days ago, I was playing, and I noticed I kept disconnecting from live. They are probably like, okay, this has happened to me multiple times, just test your connection, unplug your router, and plug it back in. <laughs> that was not the case. So, the problem here, as you guys can already tell by the video, is um, how to fix your wireless adapter. That's the video title. So, I was, when I first started playing online, um, I had to get the wireless adapter, right? So for, for the 360, it's the wireless adapter, it goes with USB and all that kind of stuff, right? So it worked fine, you know, I got this thing about like eight years ago and it was, it's been working fine. Um, and then about two years down the road after I bought that, I switched over to a wired connection and a wired connection is ethernet to a desktop or a laptop or a you know a cable box that would be a wired connection so the wired connection as you guys can see goes in the back here just in the spot for the ethernet right so you take this and you just clip it right back there and you take the other end and you put it into your computer right or whatever you're going to be using and it gives you a direct line to your internet, which is insane, you know what I mean? It, it runs faster, you play online, you don't disconnect very often, and uh, it just works a lot better. Um, but I used to use the cable box to do it, just because I had the, the wireless cable box. So I got a direct line from my wireless cable box to the Xbox, right? So I just kind of used that. Um, then I lost the cable box in my room because we switched companies, you know, for cable. Um, you know, but uh, now we have charter. But, you know, um, I was not able to use the wire. So I had to resort back to my old, you know, thing, this adapter, you know. And I was playing with it for the longest time, for the past, you know, years. Uh, after I stopped with the wired connection, because I had the wired connection for a good amount of years. Um, but when I went back with the wireless adapter that I bought eight years ago, five days ago, I kept disconnecting. I get the error message, disconnect from Xbox Live. Alright, I would, you know, disconnect, connect back again, it wouldn't connect. And I was like, all right, what the hell's wrong with my internet? I was yelling at my parents. I was like, our internet's garbage. It's not working. This and that. Our company sucks. And because I, I got really mad because it wouldn't connect, and it was doing that for the past five days, and it was really getting on my nerves. Um, and I couldn't do anything. So then I took into consideration to check the adapter, and I looked at the adapter and the wireless thing here. This glows green. But it was blinking green. I was like, well, why is it blinking green? It turns out that if it's blinking, that means it's not connected, or it's not going to connect at all. So, the issue is this wireless adapter. It's broken. So, I gotta go out and get another one for $30, the same way I got with this one. Or I get another cable box from Charter. So, um... I don't know what I'm gonna do, but I was looking and I found out you can actually fix these bad boys, right? So today I'm gonna show you guys how to fix the wireless adapter. It's only a temporary fix. This is not going to permanently fix the adapter at all because uh, I did it one day. It worked fine. It's been working fine, and um, it stopped working, you know, two days down the road. Because uh, as soon as you disconnect power from your 360, the wireless adapter like 
it doesn't connect anymore again. You have to go through the whole process. And it takes like an hour for this thing to connect again. So, without blabbing on, I'm going to show you guys exactly how to fix this thing. So you guys, if you're having the same problem, you guys can fix it. Temporary. Until you get a new one or you get a wired connection. Let's get right into this. Alright, so seeing as this thing is garbage and it doesn't want to work, you're going to need to get a screwdriver that's very small, not the smallest one you can find, but eh, you guys aren't even going to be able to see that, but you know, it's about that big. I'll put a picture on the screen so you guys can see it better. Um, but you'll notice on the back here, uh, I'm just going to blur out the words on the back here, but there's a screw there, a screw there, and then two other screws, right? I, I don't know, there's like a code on the back of the adapter, I don't know if it's important or not, but you guys should understand. Um, but you want to start by unscrewing all four screws in the back. So I'm going to skip through this so it doesn't waste too much time. I'll come right. Alright guys, so now that you've taken off the screws um, to your adapter, um, you'll notice here that you can there's these two hinges, right? You can just pop it right off or just pull it off, you know, or you can squeeze them and pull it off. Uh, and that's actually how it connects to the console. So, right off the bat here, you'll notice that we've got screws, I mean, uh, not screws, uh, we got a plug there, we got the motherboard chip, and these actually do come off, right? And then you've got where the, uh, the USB is, right? So, to start off, you're gonna want to make sure your hands are dry, you know, not wet, this and that. Um, I don't know why they would be wet if you're dealing with technology, but uh, make sure your hands are somewhat, you know, they're dry. You know. Uh, and then you're gonna go ahead and pull out this piece first, so this side. Um, and then you can pull out this and this if you want to get a good look at the, the chip here. Okay. So once you pulled everything out, you can take this piece here and put this to the side. So now you're left with the USB plug and the chip and the antennas. So this will be staying in because this cannot come out. I mean, it could come out, but you're going to want to leave it in. All right. So to continue, you're going to take this piece here, and this is pretty much how you're going to reset it. Anything else will not really reset it, but you're going to just take it and unplug it with your two fingers like that. Just pull it right off. It'll come right off. So, you're going to take that and just put that to the side. Right? And then, uh, to even make this even work a lot better, if you flip over to the other side, there's another one here. And this you can just unplug as well. And then you can plug it right back in when you're done. So, that's that. Like that, like that. Okay. Alright, so, now you are left with the chip, motherboard chip and the USB. You don't want to let that sit, um, pretty much to reset the adapter, I guess you can say. Let it sit for a minute, and then you can go ahead and put everything back together. So, we'll go ahead and put everything back together. Okay guys, so now putting it back together is a little, you know, it's the same way, but it's a little difficult because uh, you don't want to be too hard with it. I already took the liberty into putting the back one on first, but you're going to just take your thumb and use your other finger to put to hold the piece down and then just add a little pressure with your thumb. You should hear it click or you'll, you'll, you'll know it goes right in because you'll feel it go right in. Um, it's, it's very delicate, so I'm going to do this one really quick. So you'll hear it, hear it click, and uh, you'll know it went right in. So now you are left with this, so the same way uh, we took it apart. So to put it back together, you're wondering, it's the same exact way. Uh, you're going to want to take this piece first here, the black piece, and put the chip in, or the antennas in first, I like putting the antennas in. And put the antennas in right there, like that. And then you can take the chip and make sure you place it in the right spot there. And then the USB in the right spot, like that. Okay, so just like so. Alright, let me just 
Is that there? Okay. So now that it's back inside of its case, you'll notice here that there are th there's a spot for the screws there. As you can see where my finger is. Uh, you're going to want to make sure those are not covered with any wire or the, the board itself. Uh, so you'll, you'll know because it pushes right back into its slot. So, you know, there's actually a slot for it. Uh, and then you'll go ahead and take the back piece like this and just put it on. Once you put it on, you can then take the screws and stick the screws right back in there and you should have no trouble with that. So I'm going to go ahead and put the screws back in and we'll go right back to the Xbox. Alright guys, so now that you've screwed in all the screws and put everything together exactly how I showed you, uh, we're then going to take the adapter and put it to the ultimate test of playing it back in your console and doing the next piece to the uh, puzzle. Uh, so you're going to bear with me when we do this part, uh, this may take you a few tries to get it to connect. It usually takes me about an hour to get it to connect, um, an hour to 45 minutes. Uh, we're not going to sit here and do it that long, uh, of course, because the video will be short. The uh, video might be at least almost 20 minutes. Um, but we're going to go ahead here and take the console. I've already took the liberty into plugging in all the other wires, and we'll just plug it in here. So you want to be very careful when you're plugging this in because it's really stupid this thing so um, on the back of your console you'll notice where your serial number is right um, there's two holes these two holes on the back here for this thing you will take and slip it into there and it should not come out you can then take the USB part and stick it right into the USB in the back just like so Right. Once you've done that, you're pretty much set to go. I like to take the antennas and fold them down. It's really up to you uh, because they're big and bulky, and I have my my headphones, that little box that I put right there in that corner. So I just fold these down, and it goes right over it, so you can't even notice the adapters there. Um, but let's go ahead and go over to the setup here, and I'll show you guys how to actually fix this or set it back up. Okay guys, so now that you've plugged it back in, your console is all set up, it's got the adapter plugged in, the power cable is all plugged in, and it's connected to the TV, you're going to want to notice in the back where the adapter is, that it is actually glowing and not blinking, so I'm going to show you guys that now. So you'll notice that it's not blinking anymore, and it is glowing. That means that you plugged it in correctly, and like I said, I like to hide the thing there. Just put that right over it. And you'll notice when you go back to your TV, voila, you're now connected to the Xbox Live. And you're able to connect. So, it, it sometimes when you plug it back in, uh, it doesn't automatically connect to, to online. And uh, then sometimes it does. So, it really depends on, I guess, how you put it back together. Um, for me, I was lucky enough for it to connect in one shot. This is perfect for the video. Yeah, but however, if it doesn't connect in one shot, you're gonna want to go and scroll all the way over the system, go all the way down to your network settings, okay? And you're gonna want to go to your internet, click on it, and then disconnect, and sign back in. You know, connect again and then you should be good after that. Um, but that's it for this video guys. If this did help you at all, um, you know, where you're having trouble, comment below, like the video, you know, like it up. Uh, and I really hope this helped a lot of you guys out with this problem. I know the problem has happened to people in the past and I hope this video will eventually get to them uh, and you either say, wow, I wish I knew that before I bought a new one or wow, now I don't have to buy a new one. So, um, thanks for watching, guys. This is Sounds Fix, and I'm out. Peace.